Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and vlog for learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSC Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 20 Congruency of Triangles Exercise 20A and this is the first question, right? So, what do we have here? Now, you can read the question and it says applying the AAS congruency rule. So, uh, basically, now we are going to use another rule. We have used so many rules so far like the SSS, right? This is one rule. Then uh, we have the ASA as well, which is another rule, right? And then the SAS rule as well. Fine. So, so far we have used these many rules only. But now we are going to use one more rule that is going to be the A, A and S. Now, what does this stand for? It stands for angle, right? Angle angle all right angle angle and side so these are the types that it stands for there are basically three factors that we must prove while we are uh, proving this congruency of triangles using this method and what are they two angles one side now we have studied ASA as well now ASA also stands for angle side angle Again, two angles in ASA as well. Now, what is the difference between these two? See, you can see here that in angle side ang uh, angle angle side, what you can see is two angles, two adjacent angles are given, right? That is on the same line, right? You can see two angles are given, 150 degrees and 25 degrees. If you uh, if you look lo uh, look closely in the figure, you'll see it that you can see that what happens is that there are two adjacent angles that is two angles which lie on the same line okay on the same so these two adjacent angles right uh, they are given to us okay and then there is one side which is uh, basically you can say sort of opposite to these two angles so this is four centimeter right but whereas in the a S A method that is angle side angle this 4 centimeter would not have been given here but instead it would have been given between the two angles right so when two angles and one side uh, between the two angles is given that is called your A S A rule but here you can see two angles and the side which is opposite sort of right to them they are that is the A A S that is the angle angle side rule fine now you see here that first of all will prove the congruency again same thing the two angles should be congruent right then only we can prove that they are uh, the two angles should be equal and the side should be equal then only we can prove they are congruent let's begin you can see one angle is 25 degrees other angle is also 25 degrees so it's again we can make a pair of equal ones here then 150 degrees and 150 degrees again again we can find equal pairs and then 4 centimeter and 4 centimeter sides also are of equal measures hence this angle is congruent and now we have to write it in a proper sequ uh, sequence right these triangles are congruent so you can write it in any sequence you wish to okay but the second triangle that you will name that should be in a proper sequence based on the name of the first triangle right so um, uh, this triangle is ABC first so let's start off with the normal traditional name right uh, that, that is triangle ABC and then the congruence symbol okay so triangle ABC is congruent too and then again the triangle symbol now this is where we have to name carefully see that if you are uh, basically naming your sides like AB first then the side which, uh, which you will name first should uh, should be the uh, the uh, the corresponding side right suppose you see that a b okay a b is given there is no length for a b given so uh, in this figure also you can see there is no length for a b given but we know that there is 25 degree angle on this okay and there is 25 degrees angle here as well so but you see that uh, then you can see that it has 150 it does not have the 150 degree angle right a, a B does not have 150 angle but it has 25 degrees whereas if we take this RQ it has 25 and 150 both so it is not corresponding but this RQ right this RQ has 
only 25 degree and we do not know the length so it is corresponding so we write it as r q and then p right you can check the sequence as well if you wish to by using the method i told you first we check a b then the first two letters of the other triangle then the last two letters and then the last two letters of the other triangle and then the first and last letters of the triangles fine basically this is how we check and if the measures of the sides are equal then you have written it in a proper sequence but if the measures of your sides differ then the proper sequence you have not written it in a proper sequence so then you have to change the sequence of first triangle or the uh, second triangle as you wish so if you would have written abc as cba reversed it then rqp will also be reversed so this is the effect that will happen on the other triangle okay this is what it is then next is the second part right and what do we see here that uh, uh, let's quickly see so you see that the angles given to us are what one is uh, this uh, uh, right this is of uh, six centimeters all right and we can see here that six centimeter is the length of the side that is given to us fine this is the length of this side and then the two angles that are given to us are 40 degrees and 75 degrees this is in the first triangle this is the scenario in the second one again two angles given are 40 degrees and 75 degrees but you see that the side that is given is opposite to both of these angles that is k uh, this is gk right so this side is opposite to what your this side that is six centimeter right you can see i'll show you uh, i'll show you here you see that this six centimeter this one where my arrow is currently at this six centimeter is between 40 degrees and 75 degrees right so the side that is given is between the given angles but here you see that this six centimeter is not between 40 degrees and 75 degrees it is opposite to 40 and 75 degrees this means that this is not congruent because this two sides that should be given in asa method should be what should be uh, sorry in the aas method should be opposite to the two angles that are given right so the side given should be opposite to the angles given in this method so again the side given is not opposite so we cannot tell if the other side is equal or not and hence we cannot prove one that uh, the sides are equal in this triangle therefore these are what not congruent or simply you can write a no as well write whatever you wish to write then third one again uh, let's see third part now what is given here you can see that 25 degrees given here and 30 degrees is given here and this side 6 centimeter is opposite to the two triangles sorry to the two angles so this means that the other side that will be of 6 centimeter should also be opposite and you see on the other triangle here this angle is 25 degree this angle is 30 degrees angles are of the same measure but this side is also 6 centimeter but it is between the given angles and if this side is given between the angles then it will be in the asa method not in the aas method right so this thing we have to keep a track of again side is given which is opposite one side is opposite to angles but the other is not and again we cannot tell the equal pair of sides here so these are not congruent right they might do this with the angles as well so we have to see okay then next is this one and here in this case what can we see is they have not given us the exact measures okay they have used symbols to tell us that what will be congruent to what see there are two angles given again this angle is equal to this angle angle d equals to angle b fine you can keep a note if you wish to and then angle c equals to angle a fine and this o is the midpoint again you see this b uh, b o and d o are equal right so we have found out one pair of equal side and two pair of equal angles see angle b equals to angle d this is one pair fine then angle a equals to angle c this is another pair and the side is also equal that is b o equals to d o what is b o b o is from point b to o this one and 
then what is do do is from point d to o this one right this is what it is right you can see this one so you can see two distinct sides can be made and in the question it's given that these are equal how we know this because of this line they have made in the middle fine this is equal and also this parallel symbol if you wish although it has no meaning here but still you can see if you wish to now we know that two angles are equal and the side also which is equal is uh, opposite to the two given angles you can see it is not between a and b but it is opposite to ab so this means that this is also congruent again you can write it in a proper sequence right uh, what i will uh, write this thing in a sequence right so um, basically uh, this sequence i'll start from a right the first triangle you can write it in any sequence you wish but remember the sequence should be correct and the sides should be corresponding not uh, not corresponding right that will not work so i'll write it as triangle aob is congruent to all right aob is congruent to triangle cod right this is the solution and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye